بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما and those other options are like we can go with the second method so now this is like a second method where we can go and manually change the cost directly on the interface irrespective of what is the bandwidth so in the second option what we'll be doing is here i'm saying that the cost is going to be calculated or it is directly configured under the interface which is going to influence the uh, the best path again so like in the previous we discussed the first option where it is going to automatically reference the bandwidth 10 to the power of 8 divided by bandwidth which is the default and if you want to influence the best route you just go and change the interface bandwidth which is uh, again limited to only 100 mbps cost values so in the second option what i'm doing is i'm directly going to the interface and we have a command called ip osp of cost and i can change the cost values directly on the interfaces so which means this is like a manual cost default is 1 but you can see i'm going to these two interfaces when i change the cost value it is going to show me the cost values and again the best route is the same sum of all the cost to that particular destination like in my example you can see here in the previous previously i have made some changes i think so let me see what are the changes i did i i went to this interface i'll just remove this what i did in the previous i think on the gig interface i have changed the cost in our previous topic so i'm going to remove that so when i sorry i think i added that let me remove that one so where to say no the bandwidth so if you verify the default cost values so the default cost value will be gig ethernet will be 1 and the default cost on the serial link will be 64 based on 10 to the power of 8 divided by bandwidth now in my case what i want is i want that serial interface the cost should be manual instead of 64 i'm simply going and saying that the cost on this particular interface let's say let's say 5 okay so now if you verify show ip ospf interface you can use brief and you can see the cost value changes to 5 now based on this the best route calculation also will change which means if i go and check show ip route ospf now what you should see is the cost on this interface is 5 and this is default 64 1 1 1 so the router 1 to reach the 2 dot network the overall cost is 6 and that's what you can see here and to reach this 1 into 1 states this network is 70 70 means i changed the 5 64 plus 1 64 plus 5 69 plus 1 70 we can see so this is another way where we can directly go on to the each and in every interface and we can decide our own cost values again as per this example you can see the cost values are 1 this is based on the default 10 to the power of 8 divided by bandwidth based on the default a uh, cost of 1 for any link above or equal to 100 mbps and other interfaces which we have changed and based on this also the best route path the the best route can change and again at the end it is going to calculate some of all the cost values to reach that particular network